for me, it's not about it, and it never has been about, well, this person's wrong or this, or this person's right or putting another art down, which people often worry about. But one thing I want to leave people with it, to understand is that in any field that we actually, where we care about the results, any place where you actually care about the results, whether it's your child gets sick and you need to take them to a doctor or somebody is attacking from next door and we need to have to be the ability to defend it, or you need to be able to pay your rent next month, whatever it is, something where the results matter, human beings will turn to a, as functional a method as possible. And they will understand in the context of that, the moment it truly matters to them that it's not enough to be well-intentioned. We also have to be right. And, and I think that's an important thing to remember because it's so easy to get lost. And as long as you bring yourself back to that, no matter what the topic, whether we're talking about something as banalist martial arts or we're talking about medicine, it's important to always bring ourselves back to that. And within that context, for the people who are working within a field where it matters, whether we're talking about cancer research or medicine, those people have to be actively engaged in a constant rigorous process of competition because the results matter and we want to grow. And we grow on the knowledge of the people that came before us by learning that knowledge and then questioning that knowledge and then building on that knowledge. And so whether we're talking about building a bridge or testing for medicine or, or learning how to fight, it's really, really important that that scientific process is in play. And that the openness to questions and being questioned is vital. So if, if a scientist comes forward and gives a lecture in Oxford on some new version of evolution that he thinks is, is valuable or, or profound as it relates to human biology, he has to be open to a room full of qualified peers and students and everyone else submitting questions. And submitting questions to him and questioning his hypothesis is not rude and it's not, uh, it definitely can't be taboo and it's not an insult. It's how we as, we as humans grow. So when I talk about it, I don't want to make sure everybody understands this before I just leave it off for questions. When I talk about martial arts, I talk about fantasy-based martial arts and functional martial arts. I talk in very plain terms because I'd just rather be honest with everybody and straightforward. And I don't see any reason behind um, or any value to uh, sugarcoating my words. But I'm talking about systems. I'm talking about um, belief systems. I'm talking about ideas. I'm talking about training methods. I'm not talking about people. So uh, we oftentimes become very attached to whatever belief it is. And then when somebody questions that belief, no matter what it is, whether it's a religious belief or a belief about a particular alternative medicine or whatever it is, someone begins questioning that belief, it can, it can bring up some negative emotions in us where we feel like we're being attacked. I think it's very important to see that as a warning sign that maybe you do want to question that belief a little more and understand that um, the only thing that should ever shrink from inquiry are things that are false, as Thomas Paine often said. We want, we want to pursue what's real and we want to pursue what's true. And I, and I believe strongly in my core and have seen the evidence over the, over those several decades that that's also a very solid way for people to become better human beings.